Hello from the Giza Plateau. This is Yusuf Awiyan, co-director of the Kemet School of Ancient Mysticism. After the great success we had last year in the Techno Spiritual Tour, the Kemet School is inviting you to join us in the Techno Spiritual Tour, Tech 2. Join us as we reveal a lot of the question marks hidden in the Egyptian sites. Explore Egypt with the dream team of the Kemet School, the most passionate group of speakers. With our brothers and friends, Stephen Miller, with more than 20 years of research and experience in the field, and Gary Evans, who's been to a lot of the megalithic sites around the world, and Brian Forster, the greatest explorer of Egypt and Peru. Plus us, your local hosts, uh, Patricia Oyan, co-director of the Kemet School, and researcher of ancient mythology and symbolism, and also a great spiritual leader. Mohammed Ibrahim, Egyptologist, with more than 12 years of experience in the field, master of hieroglyphics, and the greatest tour guide alive. Hello, this is Mohammed Ibrahim, one of the tour guides of the Techno Spiritual Tour 2014. We're going to see prehistoric monuments. We're going to see Old Kingdom, Middle Kingdom, New Kingdom pieces and statues. And of course, we will not forget to see the famous collection of King Tutankhamun. Uh, hi, I'm Patricia Awian, and um, on this great spiritual technical journey, we're also going to be talking about the um, migration of symbolism um, and the mythologies and how they transformed over the years. We'll talk about the Egyptian pantheon of netters or gods and goddesses uh, that we would say were not created to be worshipped like gods and goddesses, but were actually called netters and were forces of nature or cosmic forces. So, uh, we also, as Egyptologists, we're going to be honest with you when we see something strange about what we are teaching. We will admit this and we will put question marks around some of the wonders. This is one of the pieces we can see has writings in that side. But when we explored the other side, we can see the writings goes in different direction. So this is what we're going to explain in this trip. More of what we share, we're going to be sharing plenty of things. Take this example here, where the shin have no rin, and we're going to be talking about what kind of priesthood ruled the sites and how did they run it, and what kind of function was happening during the dynasties, and the possibilities of what kind of original function that was pre-dynastic in the sites. Another example, if you looked at the details up here and how it's three-dimensional figured out, it's a tool that was missing when these writings were added. The tool that was used in here is, not, is no longer there when these writings were added. Plus, if you come here to the edge, you'll find that this part actually came above this beautiful carbon, which is one of the things we're going to be talking about why we don't think the timelines are suited with using writings to date and relate sites and objects. We're going to have some lectures during the tours with different subjects. My subject is going to be hieroglyphics and explaining the different meanings of each symbol. And also we're going to tell you why our kings used to have different titles, like Horus title, Mesubiti title, and the Sara title. I'm going to be lecturing about the mythologies and the symbolism and how they reflect the nature of our very reality. I will talk about the creation stories and the cycles and the cycles within cycles and how the ancient Egyptians totally understood how our cosmos and world above is reflected in our world below down to the very cells in our body. Welcome to Memphis. This is, by the way, my homeland. I was born in Memphis but now I live in Giza. So you are dealing with the locals. You are not just dealing with professional 
tour guides and uh, travel agents, but also we are dealing with the people who knows all the security and the guards and every person around. When you travel with the Kemet School, we take you off the beaten path. Yes, we go to all the same sites and we show you the major significant sites throughout Egypt. Uh, being that we are local and that we have come to know the keepers and the guards and the security at all of the sites, we have access to areas that no one else gets to see. We take you to significant spots and show you significant things that support what we will talk to you about as far as the ancient machining and the uh, secrets of the mysteries within the temples. In the Techno Spiritual Tour, we will be talking about advanced machining and technologies, sophisticated, based on the result. When we share this with you on the tour, we don't just talk about it as a theory, we're gonna prove it to you through evidence that you can see at plain sight. Temples and monuments in Egypt were built in such a way that they actually interact with the physical, spiritual, and mental energies of your own body. We will show you on the tour how as you walk through some of these areas, the temples, how the sacred geometrical design, the actual specific uh, combination of stones and crystals that they used, and the solar and stellar alignments and how these all combined actually will interact with you as you're walking through the temple. You actually come out feeling totally different and you can utilize this energy to your benefit and we will work with things like toning, tone, resonant tone in certain areas where you can't help but feel the energies interacting with your own. We will share with you our passion and knowledge about ancient Egyptian civilization and the Kemetology to provide you with a life-changing experience.